All right, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back to, actually, what is next in the rotation? It seems like we're going back to Tharsis. I am ready for it. Uh, Tharsis Republic on Tharsis, I would love that. No cities in the opening preludes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like nothing in the opening preludes that I find that interesting. Eco line is interesting with the heat income because a lot of plant cards become playable sooner. But this really isn't it with the kelp farming would be incredible, but you just can't get it. And we need oceans to make the ocean walk work. I do think Tharsis is the right play here. I think you go heat production. From there, it's not so obvious. You know, you can go for some science tags, business contacts. Plant production is very helpful for a group like Tharsis. Um, and so is power production. So I guess we grab this arrangement of cards. Get some productions coming in. And I, would, I like a city grab, quite frankly. No preludes for cities is, is sad. Um, now I'm even more sad because I just realized that I have a natural preserve, which... I would have put for a card draw. Let's go here and get a... I mean, Optimal Arrow Breaking is a goaded get. That can really change a run. And Strip Mine is something to run for. Um, so we need Science Tags to get Energy. And then we need the Energy to get the Strip Mine. That's where we're at right now. No reason not to get some adjacency up here in case we need something from that, like a mine placement or just greeneries in a better zone. And instead of playing Viral Enhancers right away, let's just pass. I can play it next turn, it's not a big deal, but we could get a cheaper science tag. Or we could get Anti-Grav to start chasing. We don't have to throw it like the kitchen sink yet. We just pick up the one card, we grab our science tag, and we're shy on power income. Let's look again. Micro Mills. This is worth playing. As much as I want to rush getting out a uh, strip mine, one more heat production gets us on a break point for the next TR next round. And like those little trickling optimizations are really going to be helpful. Uh, this is much cheaper power income. I'm sad that I played that second science tag. I got excited when I saw. I don't know what. I think, I think you grab all of it. I'm a crazy person, but I think you grab all of it. And then you leave Great Dam. We could get the power income right now. Um... But I would rather have more money for next turn for a chance to get our uh, strip mine. Okay. So first of all, do we have enough money to get strip mine? Let's say we did it with nuclear power, right? That's $35 with three steel. I actually could get it this turn if I grab nothing. What do I want to grab this turn? These three cards. Grabbing none of them seems good. It also means I'm foregoing this action to look at the deck. Ugh, hard to say, but I think it's I think it's correct. I think we go tempo, pretend we never saw any of those cards. We get this, and we get this, and we just move on with our lives. I'm not even going to do that click, so whatever comes up, we're going to be sad. Next turn, we're going to have enough heat to do the heat bump to get free more heat income. Arctic Algae, incredible. Science Tag, incredible. Everything else, we just... Even though it's a city, even though it's greeneries, we just sit back and focus on getting to anti-grav. Special design could be helpful uh, for kelp farming, but I'm going to live and let die. We do still have an energy income. We have three uh, steel income, so bam. Love it. All right, and let's be real. This is a space event, so we do have this bad boy. But I'm not going to play any of that before Arctic Algae. So we're just in a little bit of a trick. The three science tags is almost halfway to anti-grav. Uh, and let's just, before hitting end turn, let's take stake of where we're at. 
we've got minus one income. This is the audit, the early game audit. Minus one income, but then this is six and three. So nine metal production, minus one production there. And I forgot to mention last time, five TR. So roughly 13 value in terms of income. When it comes to plant and energy, very, very low, but I think we're making up for it in terms of heat production to keep the ball moving there. And this plant deficit is going to be normal for most early games, but with Arctic algae, uh, it's going to come back in a big way, and we actually have a lot of oceans credited in our hand already. Um, Anti-grav is obviously like a, a wild card. It could help, it might not. Every other project we have in our hand is kind of just chilling, something to do. Two card draw, though, goes really well with the discount if we can hit it. So, like, that's really strong. Uh, we haven't claimed our two card spot yet, so that's okay. Um, and we have a city on the board, which might help us get some points at the late game, but it's not really well placed for that. Quantum Extractor. Science tag, very helpful. A city that makes metal, I think, would be very helpful. Um, it's actually, it, this is, I think, worthwhile. It's enough production, and if we get advanced alloys, it will really, really pay out. Just keep getting some card draw here. Ants, I'm less interested in. Ecological zone makes a lot of sense. It is a powerful card, but I think our economy is actually behind right now to be points chasing so i'm gonna once again pretend i didn't see it and move along uh as much as i want this really cheap um energy for energy production a discount a science tag everything that we love dear i can't get it and i need more production of energy so i'm gonna get tectonic stress power this could slow us down i'm gonna be kicking myself next turn if we do get a science tag but we can't just wait uh, if that science tag isn't going to come and what do you know we actually needed to play it to be able to get this science tag which enables us to get the next one microbes do we need them no oxygen bumps do we need them probably probably do we want to slow down our acquisition of anti-grav no but we don't have it guaranteed so let's grab the event and move on we got our eighth heat production which is nice Callisto Penal Mines, that is a trap. Large Convoy might be helpful. If it is, it is. Whew, okay. 13 and 14, $27. I do not have that on hand. I do have enough for Underground City, though. I think it's worth playing the Underground City. This steal that we get from the Underground City is going to help us pay for everything else. Uh, and 10 money income it's nothing to scoff at let's keep moving along the titanium's building up we're not getting a good outlet for it but it is what it is all right astharsis republic <laughs> research outpost is already really good it's a universal discount is a science tag it is everything i need it to be arguably going from a card draw would be helpful as well just taking again stake one two uh, science tags in hand a third one here and we only have three plate if this helps us get to anti-grav a little bit sooner a turn half a turn sooner um it would have been worth it instead we got it here that is fine i'm i'm just happy to have gotten the tags this is a really good zone for building greeneries in the future so we'll jump on that quantum extractor gives us a discount on space we do love that this is three titanium for two titanium back and some benefit and bob is thine uncle next up fusion power anti-grav three universal discount come on baby <sighs> terraforming metals I, I like space elevator but it's too expensive at this point of the game restricted area could be helpful i might already have enough card draw though i think we need to start terraforming since it's gen 9 discounts are nice more card draw works with discounts um but if you don't hit it you're not in a good way so let's dial into what we need all right what we need apparently 
is a little bit more steel income or card draw. Next turn, I'm going to have five steel. That's enough to play for this and this. I'm going to take the card draw. Advanced alloys. Super awesome. It's a card I would have had to pay $3 to get. Instead, I paid uh, a little bit less and got more. Uh, livestock. One point animal. We do have this, but we already have predators. So none of this matters to me. Adventure's Guild is cool, but I need to start playing cards. It's Gen 10. We're into the end game. We need to start terraforming, and we are finally getting the cards to do that. Advanced alloys. While we're here, a steal for more steel. Love it. Next, um, I'm not going to put a titanium into optimal arrow breaking so that we can put titanium into giant ice asteroid. We don't need more steel. Let's get the cards and start setting up green relocations. I'm not sad. I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I'm just playing the game. Nothing happened. Nothing to see here. Greenery is getting money back on events, on space events, money back, heat back. Everything's good. Uh, optimal air breaking. I can play it now and still have time uh, to get a heat bump out of it. It also enhances for a single plant. And then I'll get a heat bump by the end of the game. If I do get a three microbe thing, we can use it twice. But I've already used one of the three microbe drops. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could play ants too. But that's points. Don't really care for that. Don't really matter. Um, viral enhancers means that greeneries right now could be cool. Let's just do the greeneries for greenhouses now. It could pick up a titanium. I don't care for that. Could pick up some plants. Wouldn't be enough for two greeneries, be enough for one. Um, I think I just pick up a single card draw. And if sponsors is free, we'll play it, but it's not that sexy. Geothermal, because I have the steel and three more steel coming in. Moving along. More oceans, please. Thank you. Oceans, thank you. Energy and steel income, I don't need. Martian rails one two three four five twice using my steel that I'm not using otherwise perfect draw a card Noctis city look for a card Eos Chasma <laughs> I mean what is there to say other than awesome going well things are good time for an ocean time for a Noctis City. This is how we score the points that we need to not have such a bad time. Uh, couple things that are appealing here. Let's start with the mining expedition. That's going to kick back some steel. I like the idea of putting a, an ocean there. There's quite a bit of just pocket goodness to come. Is there some steel that we need to pick up? I'm holding out hope that we're going to get a mangrove, but maybe that's wishful thinking. Uh, but that's a good steel that we pick up. That goes into Martian Rails. This gives us a nice little kickback. We're up to $20. Do not forget kelp farming. Very powerful. Um, local heat trapping, all that stuff. We could do it. Local heat trapping we'll be able to do next turn anyway. Is it any worth doing now? No, we don't have the one point animal. Let's get our heat. We do need more heat. Large convoy is also gonna make an impact. It means that if I don't play this, I'll get an extra bump. One ocean, two ocean, three ocean. That is nine oceans accounted for. We are good to go on oceans as so long as I play these cards and get this freebie. 
Here we go. Don't need it. I like it. I like it. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Get the oxygen. Get the titanium. Put the titanium. Get the discount. It all makes sense. This is a card draw, and it's a space event. Oh, I might need, like, the money back from it. The heat back from it. I actually think it's worth grabbing. I'm not sure if we need it yet. But I think that it's worth picking up. We might play it instead of a different uh, ocean card. Which just seems insane. But say la V. So oxygen bump is helpful. Discount is helpful. <sighs> Alright. Am I going to get one point animals? Am I going to get predators am i gonna get one point animals i don't like i don't know i don't know i have four plants coming from oceans i've got four plants coming from eos chasma which i can play with steel that's a greenery i have probably the five plants plus placements give me another greenery but like, it's not so hot that I can spend th half my remaining cash on these. But I do have local heat trapping, but I also need so many bumps, man. I need so much heat. These card draws need to pay out. I think we, I think we just do large convoy for freaking plants. I hate it. I hate it, but that's where we're at. This is not what I needed. Um, so, like, this is the exact situation I'm talking about here. Where Convoy from Europa is $6 more expensive than Ice Cap Melting, but it gives me a card draw and three heat, and that $6 more expensive is only $3 more expensive. So that heat actually gets us to a break point on local heat trapping. It's a, it's a whole thing. That's actually better for me. Greeneries are are here. Man, I really want to put in predators, but I I I need two heat bumps. That's $28. So this is gonna be a wasted animal. This is gonna be what I need. And you put this greenery down for two plants. Everything's paying out. Um, this heat, man. It's a bugger. It certainly is. Let's just do the clicks. And then we talk about it. And we talk about it by selling everything that isn't points. Don't need, don't need... This could be a point, but I don't think it's going to be as effective as, as the other cards that we could do. Like, Bird Enhances gives one right away. Then we tap it. Let's get our money for these. Let's get our, I could have gotten ants, right? No, ants was six. So rad cam is two and we're still not at 63. 63 has just not been on the docket, but hey, we didn't miss doing the last terraforming click. Okay, so we'll take our wins where we can get them. 58, 67, 79, please. Ugh, couldn't get the points. Uh, I don't think I don't think I had it in me to do something different to get more points. Like at the end, that is like I, I could have gotten four one point animals, right? But I don't think those four one point animals um, over the greenery would have would have resulted in us having enough plants to win the game. I hate to say it, but I need money back on on events. <laughs> like crap. 
Still, it was a win. It was one out of three, but it was it was something. But not having 100 points basically means a loss. Not having 63 TR is just a kicker while you're down. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.